Hey everybody, this is Mr. Campbell. Um, there's a lot of questions today on how to attach um, Mr. Campbell to a document. So what I'm actually going to do is show students and parents how you can attach um, Mr. Campbell to a document. Uh, parents, those of you that are kind of wondering why we're doing the electronic uh, portfolio, it's just easier to keep track of. The kids don't lose it. It's a electronic portfolio of their uh, work over the entire year. Uh, both for them to keep forever an electronic file and for you as parents to see the progress. And for me as a teacher, it's easier for me to grade uh, electronic portfolios than it is written portfolios that so don't get lost and stuff like that. Um, and then what we can also do is collaborate with other teachers. So if they're writing a paper in science, uh, Mrs. Uh, Texada can correct all of the science facts and information. And then what I can come back in and do is correct that same paper as far as grammar, spelling, and punctuation, organization, and stuff like that. So some of the assignments will actually go for multiple classes. Um, once you're in your Gmail account, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top left-hand corner. It's going to say Documents. You click on Documents. Uh, this is where all of your Google documents will be. And as you can see from my file, I'm starting to get a lot of kids that are connecting and stuff like that. Um, at uh, one point, I'll have 200 or so um, ongoing documents that you are sharing with me uh, that basically I can go in and edit, give suggestions and stuff like that um, and it's more of a live process as opposed to the traditional you write a paper, turn it in, the weekend's done, I give it back. This is something that you can always look at um, throughout the year. So anyway, uh, once you get to this point you're going to create new over here in the top left hand corner, corner excuse me, collect create new Go to Document. Um, you have to give the document a name, otherwise it's going to be Untitled Document. Um, and so you'll click on Untitled Document right here. And the easiest way for me to know whose it is is just to put your first name. So if your name was John, whoops, you would go to John Smith. Excuse me, sorry and then you would put third period or something like that okay um, and then you would click OK now for the rest of the year this document will be called John Smith third period so anytime I need to search for it I can just search for the student's name or by period like that and what you will do is just write me a little message hi Mr. Campbell right um, and this is the important part as far as the sharing. What can actually happen at this point is multiple people can be in this document doing something. So essentially, we could get the entire class in a document writing a story together all similarly. Now, I've never checked it out to see how many people we could have at one time. But in order to be able to edit or improve this document, you need to share the document with me. So you'll come over here to the top right-hand corner. You will click Share. And right here where it says add people, you will add Mr. Dot Campbell. Now you can see it's already appearing here automatically, rocks at gmail.com. And then you will click on can edit. What that allows me to do as a teacher is to go in and I'm not going to change your papers, but allows me to highlight stuff and write notes and do other things. So as you're doing rough drafts or rewriting rough drafts, or doing your journals, I can go in and comment on all of that stuff and you can have it, right? So like let's say you go to California for Thanksgiving and you talk about Disneyland in one of your journals. I can go back in and make a comment about the first time I went to Disneyland or something like that. So it creates more of an interactive feel as opposed to you turning in a portfolio, me taking them home and spending the entire weekend going over them, writing notes, and then giving it back to you and then you don't ever read it again because this document is ongoing. And the great thing about it is once you're done with that, you just click share and save. Now it's going to save, it, the document's going to be saved to myself, but if you go back into um, your documents, you should see that right here, um, you are sharing a document with me and it sh should say shared next to it. Right? All of these are students that I have that are sharing documents with me that throughout the year I will be able to go in and basically will be able to create work together, me editing your work and you know um, coming up with ideas and helping you along. 
Um, this is great for NaNoWriMo. This is great for journal writing. This is great for all sorts of stuff. Um, but I just wanted to get that out there and um, so parents understand kind of why, what the thinking is behind this. I've gotten some emails and some phone calls just asking, you know, I don't understand this whole thing. This is basically why we're doing it. And all this information is saved in a cloud so the students never lose it. It's basically saved in that email address as long as they have that email address. Okay? So if you have questions, email me at my school email. That would be spencer.campbell at jordan.k12 dot ut dot us um, hope you have a fabulous weekend uh, those of you that i have on friday we will see you then um, you guys are awesome